Earwax is a form of modified sweat that is thicker than sweat typically is and it's produced by the outer third of the ear canal. Earwax is not bad for you. I see people every single day who are concerned about having earwax, um, people who are concerned that they can't get all of their earwax out with Q-tips. In reality, earwax is actually a very good thing for you. Your body doesn't produce it to annoy you. It protects your ear. It forms a barrier against infections from bacteria, viruses, fungus. It also performs a mechanism to prevent the skin in the ear canal from drying out or desiccating. And it also traps dust and other foreign particles from getting too deep in your ear canal. So in these three ways, earwax is actually your friend, believe it or not. Even though I generally think of earwax as being a good thing, there are two problems that earwax can cause. One and most common is that earwax can get packed deep into the canal in form of plug. This can muffle and block your hearing, and it can also be quite uncomfortable and cause pain and even itching. Secondly, having too much earwax, or particularly having earwax that's packed deeply in the canal, can actually cause ear infections. I see people every day who tell me that they're cleaning their ears with Q-tips. What they don't know, however, is that the ear has a normal and very natural mechanism to clean out all of the wax all by itself without our help. When you use a Q-tip to clean your ear, actually it's pushing more wax deeper into the ear canal than it's getting out. Then what happens is you're left with wax that's deep in the canal that the ear can no longer clean by its normal mechanism. And instead of having a nice clean ear, it's actually an ear that's sturdier and now has a plug of wax packed in deeply. Not everyone needs to do something about their earwax. In most cases, earwax is simply there and doing good things for you. It prevents ear infections, it keeps dust out of the ear canal and prevents getting foreign bodies packed in deeply, and it keeps the skin of the ear canal healthy. There are a few situations though when doing something about your earwax is a good thing. People with very narrow ear canals tend to get more buildup of earwax. Also, people who use hearing aids tend to get more buildup of earwax because they basically do the same thing Q-tips do, pushing earwax deeper into the canal. There's fortunately a very simple solution that in most cases will totally fix the earwax problem. Once a week, put 15 drops of mineral oil in each ear. Mineral oil generally comes in a large container so you can buy a separate small dropper bottle to use. Lay on the side of the bed, tilt the ear up, use the dropper and put in either 15 drops or as much as it takes to totally fill up the ear canal. Let it sit there for two minutes and then tilt the ear and it can all drain out normally. You can use a tissue to clean out the bowl of the ear. Don't put a Q-tip or anything in the ear trying to clean it. What this will do is it will soften the wax and it will allow it to disperse and drain out normally without further packing it in. At that point, your ear's normal mechanism to keep itself clean is suddenly much more effective. Do that once a week and you won't have any buildup of wax in your ears. To learn more, call the Ashford Clinic at 706-248-6860 or visit us online at ashfordclinic.com.